Hello, I'm Heath from the UTSA chapter of HKN, and today I'm going to be continuing my discussion on how you can use Python to replace MATLAB usage. So in front of me I have a Python script here on the left and the equivalent MATLAB script on the right. So what we're going to be doing is defining a signal and just plotting that signal, and I'm going to show you how to do both and how they compare. So as you can see up here in the top left-hand corner of our Python, first we have to define our imports. So as I talked about in the last video, uh, Python versus MATLAB. MATLAB has a global namespace, meaning all the all the functions are already defined, whereas Python, you have to import these. So these are known as modules, and then they have their associated functions. So exactly what are we doing here? So here I've defined my own module called, I called it functions.py, and then I'd find a function inside of it that just adds to, we pass it a variable, it takes that variable, adds to, and it returns it. So here I've created a script that resides in the same directory as our module. So what we can do is we can import our module, uh, define our variables here as A, and then we can call the module's namespace and the function inside that module, pass our variable, and get our output. Now for simple cases like this, you don't need separate modules uh, to define your functions or classes. So you can do that within the script. So here I've defined another function just within inside our script. It adds three to the variable. And so as we can see, both functions will get a 7 for B and a 9 for D. So, but the reason that we have these modules is A, it's just easier to have all these functions reside in a separate file, especially when you have a lot of functions, it becomes very unruly because Python, the functions have to be declared before they can be used. Um, unlike C, where you can have function declarations and have all your function actual definitions at the bottom, Python doesn't have declarations, so it becomes very unruly very quick when you start having a lot of functions in your file. And so that's what all these are doing up here is the imports. You're importing these modules. Um, in this case, uh, as far as matplotlib, it's got a module, a submodule, and then we're giving that a namespace. And then that's what the as is. You're defining, you could just say import numpy, but with the as, you're saying I want to define it as a shorter namespace in this case. So np, which is a very common namespace for numpy. Okay, so back to the comparison. So we have here a Python script on the left, and then we have our MATLAB script on the right. We're simply defining our sampling frequency, um, the window size, how much we want to plot, and then so here's some of the differences. Now we need to find an array for our time. So in num or in Python, you have to define this with a function and call it called a range, and it's going to give you back a ranged function from a starting point to an ending point. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and divide that by our sampling frequency. We could put this in here as our step size. Um, it doesn't really matter which way you do it. Um, and then so for MATLAB, you can just do this without really calling a function. You just call a sliced array, and it knows that it's going to create that variable as these stepped arrays. Um, then we define our frequency. And so as we'll see here in Python, we have our sine function, but we have to tell it that it resides within the NumPy module, um, whereas MATLAB, you just have sine. But also, you can see that basically once you define your modules and your namespaces, a lot of the functions are going to be exactly the same. So you have sine, sine, they take the same variables. Um, when we define matplotlib up here, now we can just call plot. We call the figure function, figure, plot, label. All these functions are actually the same. So once you get your namespaces in there, uh, it's very similar to, Python, to MATLAB. And so here we're plotting both the time signal and then we're also taking the paradiogram, which is... Uh, a version of the FFT um, to get the the sine spike. And so when we plot that in Python, this is the the functions that we get, the plots that we get, and then we can do the same thing in MATLAB and you can see that they're almost identical other than the scaling of the axes, but that can be defined by variables in however you tell it. So as also mentioned before, both MATLAB and Python are interpreted languages. And so they run on top of a kernel and they have what's called an interpreter. So things can be done in real time. And this is also, you can use the help function in Python much as you can MATLAB. So you just tell it what you want to, what function you're wanting, looking for. And it'll spit back the help in the documentation on it. So you can also do this for entire modules. Um, and it will give you back every function within numpy which is quite a lot as you can see it is trying to reach the documentation and it froze on me um, but it also be a lot easier just to go online and look at the actual documentation
So I hope this video has helped you learn a little bit more about Python. Um, if you can pick up MATLAB, you can pick up Python pretty easily. They're very similar languages. Um, and as I've said, Python is open source. It's free. It'll be continued to be developed, and you don't have to pay a licensing cost to get it. So I thank you for watching, and I hope you check out the other videos on our channel. Thank you.